In video number seven, we looked at how to list out the database items of the application and then display them on the browser. And this was the result of that video. In this video, we're gonna style this page and put this data in a table. So we're gonna change the look of this page from this to this. Okay, so we're gonna make a table like this with this header color and then alternating colors for the row. All right, so we also have this shadow going around the table on the right and also on the bottom of the table with this radius on the bottom right of the table all right so this is what we are going to build in this video so if you are not a subscriber and you enjoy videos like this you might consider subscribing so that you don't miss our future videos so as usual we have all the steps and this is just about six simple steps so the first step is to copy this table create the table so i'm going to replace that follow the entire follow with the table okay so we're gonna have a table and give it a class table all right so we're gonna give it a table header and in the header we will have one row and that row will have all these columns as the table headers okay so we're gonna have four columns the count the category item name and also the quantity okay so the camp will be we follow the account which will uh, give us these numbers one two three all the way up to the last item we're gonna have a table data corresponding to a table header right up here okay so I'm gonna save it and then refresh the application the next step is to style this table to have the text centered and also give you the alternating colors All right so that is step number two All right so I'm gonna copy this CSS and paste it in style the CSS so inside the static folder I see CSS so go to static CSS and open style CSS and then paste the code right there all right so we have a table with a class table all right so that's what we are styling right here we're giving a font style of 13 text align center with 95 percent margin order so this is a duplication i'm gonna remove that we're gonna give a background color to the odd rows this background color and also this background color to the even rows all right so that will create the alternating colors right there Okay, so the table header will also have a background color of that and the text will be white. So I'm going to save it and then refresh. Okay, so now the next step is to create the box shadow that goes around the table on the right and also on the bottom with this um, border radius on the bottom right of the table. Okay, so that is step number three. So with that we're gonna create a container so this table we're gonna create a container that wraps around the table and then style that container okay all right so we're gonna create a div right there and give it a class of display table and we're gonna wrap the table with that div okay so now I'm gonna copy this line on top of the table I'm gonna paste it right there and then close the div just below that table okay so I'm gonna save it and then refresh okay so now we have a div going around so now we can style a div okay so that's this styling right here on step number four so I'm gonna copy this and paste it in CSS I'm gonna remove that we're gonna give it a border bottom right radius 20 padding left and right 5 px the bottom will be 20 pixels and this shadow with a color right there i'm gonna save it and then refresh all right so we can see the padding right and then padding left 5 px and then we have this shadow going around with this radius on the bottom right of the table okay so we are left with this header right there okay so that is the last step i'm gonna create a div and then style that div with this css code right here all right so i'm gonna go to the template and then change this h1 tag to a div and give it a class header Okay, so I'm gonna close the div right there. 
Okay, so now in the CSS, I can paste this code and save it. Head back to the application and click refresh. Okay, so that's the header right there. Okay, but now if you go to the views, we have the title here. So I don't want to confuse this title we have above right there with this. So that's why I have to change it to header. All right, so I'm going to change this to header as well. Okay, and also in the view, I'm going to change this and that to headers. So I'm going to save it and then save the HTML and refresh. All right, so we make sure that everything is looking as expected. All right, so this is what we are to build in this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please click on the like button. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. So see you in the next one.